What's up, YouTube? This is To Be Reviewed, and today I wanted to talk about why sub for sub never works. So, if you haven't already, make sure that you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I got tons of content on the way. I finally got my audio fixed. I bought the Yeti, it is 10 times better. I don't got a lot of echo. I'm just enjoying it overall. I love improving my videos and also it kind of gives me ideas on how I can keep using that to make better content. I thought today it would be cool to talk about sub for sub. The reason why I wanted to talk about this was because as smaller YouTubers you think that this is an easy way to build an audience but it's honestly not. And the reason why I say this is because people aren't really subscribing to your YouTube channel because they like your content. And for a moment, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I called myself one to do it. So I decided just for one night to do a sub for sub. So I wish I had a screenshot. This is probably like a month ago, so I just let it go. But I spent like two hours, literally just trying to ask people to sub back to my channel. And my idea, was to make it a positive thing so if you ask people to follow you then in a way you still get your video seen you know it's about exposure but you know i had pure intentions so what happened was is that i did the suffer sub i was subscribed to everybody try to show some support and not everybody has the same intentions as you so what happens is is that say give it like seven seven days and you start noticing your subscribers just drop <laughs> you're like whoa <laughs> what is going on here you just think everybody hates you but honestly they're they're not really subscribing to you because they don't really care about your content i don't think that it's a genuine way to build your audience and i just wanted to kind of make you guys aware of this if anybody ever runs into this video and they're a smaller youtuber it does not work. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I had one person says a thousand subscribers without a video. And I'm thinking like, you must got some clout. You know, you must have some type of exterior audience to have a thousand subscribers. But he was literally just doing stuff for stuff. Because some people just forget. Some people just never get back on the YouTube channel. Or they just don't use that account. And it just stays there. But say in the long run, you do this and you have... 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, you got to monetize your videos. And then you notice that like you only get like 32 views a video. You got 1,000 subscribers and you got 32 views. And that just doesn't click up. I just previously did a video just giving a tutorial on an emulator. And that's my first video with 1.3 or 2K. It's like one of my first videos with 1,000 views. And I was really proud of it and that was because I made a decent thumbnail, that was because I made a great title, I did a little bit more studying on how to make a better quality video and it showed, it showed for it and of course I'm still learning but you're never going to make it to the top by doing it. I just, I, I watched a bigger YouTuber talk about doing that in the beginning but you really have to promote yourself, it's, you're not going to do it by looking for a sub for sub live feed and just telling people to, to look at your stuff because it's not going to work out. But I just thought it would be a cool way to share with you guys exactly where I was and my experience with that. I think it would be a better idea to go with a talking route for my channel. I think that it's about time that I kind of start making a theme. And if I ever want people to love me, I have to have them love me for a specific thing. So I hope this is a good way to build that relationship with you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, let me know your experience if you ever had to go through it. You know, I love hearing about these things. But thank you guys for watching. Peace. Bye.